today's another day of awesomeness. I think today's the 29th of May. Cold, wet out here. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm getting going. And um, today we're gonna finish on the struts because I'm kind of procrastinating about this bolt right here. It's giving me problems. We put about 300 pounds of torque on it and did it. Race car impact driver thingamabob on it and it still ain't budging. So we'll get to that another day. But for right now, we're gonna finish putting the struts on because I can't be that hard. <laughs> we got the right Allen wrench in there. About to have the right bolts. Already, we just need to get the brake lines undone, and get that bolt out undone, and then we're gonna have awesome things happen. Here's the update. I'm having, I'm struggling. I can't get this bolt off. I stripped and then expanded the end of that uh, stud there, so that way the bolt can't come off unless uh, we have some very serious machinery. And then if we go over to here. I was able to get this off really easily. But now I can't get the brake line off. It's been two hours and I got one bolt off. I'm discouraged right now. I'm not even gonna lie. It's, it's... Good news is, we got a storm here. We got a storm. It's coming our way. So, hey. It's been raining for a while now. It's like, uh... Almost five o'clock in the evening. I thought it was just gonna be a little storm. Little didn't know it turned into a convergent zone of rain. It's like went from like 55 degrees down to 49. It was 48 just a couple minutes ago. Um, it's rained. Uh, not so much of rain today. So it's really been raining. But I did get my chart set up as I start to go into the trading world of excellency. Just going right here. It's actually pretty darn simple. It's the ATR aperture range by cell and the super trend. The red and green lines right there. And then you put in your resistances and supports for stops and losses and all the good stuff. Yeah, I got that set up a little, a little bit further close. Don't laugh at me, Mom. I, 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 I'm a high school dropout. Lower your expectations. Got a little bit further done today, but that's pretty much it. Took us two hours to get one bolt out on the car. And uh, I showed Dad what had happened. He said, that's an odd one. So take that as you will. Today is the 30th of May. Still working on my car. Still trying to get the struts out, actually. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. So, as you can see, the bolts, the studs are gone. The strut is basically floating right now. And the only thing holding it is this brake line that I'm having trouble getting off. But I learned the deal, and that is to be patient. With this car, you just gotta be patient when working on it, especially with all the bolts. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just slowly working on it. Put more WD-40, PB blaster, all the good stuff on there and then just whacking away at it till eventually it gives. Here's the deal. This is what's going down, okay? My patience is paying off, I think. Um, went down to AutoZone and asked the people there, hey, this is what I'm dealing with. Do you know what I can use for that, you know? And uh, they didn't know. So, we got one of these things. It's another... Uh... Okay, anyway. Um, basically, we've, we've stripped the bolts on the brake lines pretty badly. So, this is our last hope. Just because it's angled differently, I'm thinking it might rip into the bolt more. We'll see don't really know and I don't really care a bit I, I watch some YouTube videos 
who with some people who had the same deal as me, but they did it a little bit differently. So now I know. But we're gonna torch it up, heat it up a little bit, then we put some PB blaster on there, and because of the heat from the torch, and because PB blaster is cold, it should suck into the little cracks and crevices, and hopefully that'll, uh, you know, loosen it up, and then we can grab it with the locking pliers and just go, and hopefully, maybe, possibly, it'll work. These worked, and um, I did the torch heated up for maybe a good 10, 15 seconds, actually more like 20, 25 seconds, and then I put the PB blaster. You gotta be careful with this stuff, cause, uh, well, it's flammable, as I found out, cause it just, it just caught on fire when I put it on there and burned a little fire next to the gas tank. Not a good idea. Don't do that. We're gonna do that with the other side now. Look at that! We got it out! We got it out! Ah! Let's go though! That means I can put that side back together. The others... Okay. We have one more bolt to take out on this side and this strut is free. And it's this one. I stripped the Allen wrench side. And uh... Yeah. I think we're gonna try the same thing and see what happens. We're also probably going to do that with that bolt. Just heat it up and put the PB blaster on there because that worked really well. So I decided I'm just going to get a new sway bar mount. They're probably like 20 bucks or something because I've completely stripped this point to the stripped this to the point where I enlarged it. So even though I was able to get the bolt free and like can move it back and forth, it's uh it won't go past that point because I've enlarged the stud. And I've ripped the boot off the back here by accident, so, and that was already tearing to begin with. So I'm just gonna go ahead, cut that off, and uh, just get a new sway bar mount, which is, shouldn't be too much, 20 bucks or something. Worst case, 40, 60, 80, can't be too much. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Um, going into it and opening up, up the struts, I'm like, wait a sec. Something's not adding up here. So I'll go ahead, look at the struts, and I realize that they're completely identical, which means I got two passenger side struts. And that's not what I want. I need a passenger and a driver. So I can keep one of them, this one right here, but it, we can't do this one, which is already ready for a new strut to go in. We have to, that one will fit on the passenger side, but we don't have a skill saw at the moment, so we can't cut that part off. So, yeah, that's what's happening. I got to return one of them and reorder. So, we went down to AutoZone and they're going to have a struts and a sway bar assembly kit. So that way we can uh, fix that uh, sway bar um, by this afternoon. So until then, we can try to get this bolt off on the CV axle. See what we got going there. And uh, we're going to try what made all the other bolts all of a sudden just go. Heat and PB blaster. Might as well, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like we tried pretty much everything on this bolt, we might as well try that. Okay, might have needed to heat it up a little bit more. Just because it's a bigger nut than the other. All right, today is June 1st. Today is the beginning of something great. Something spectacular. 
because today's a month and a half until I head off to the southeast to intercept some severe thunderstorms and hurricanes. Hurricane season's already going with a 80% chance of development of a tropical low or depression and the potentiality of a tropical storm to impact the Florida Keys come two or three days from now. But obviously not gonna be down there for that, nor is it significant, but it's the, it's the first deal of hurricane season. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, we got this thing that my grandpa let me borrow. This is the real deal. At least it's a lot better air compression than what we had before. It goes up to 175 PSI. The other one I think only went up to like 80 or 90. And it's like twice the amount of gallons of air. Essentially it's the real deal. But we're gonna try our best to get this bolt off. I really, we're, we're just, we got an air compressor gun. We got the impact driver. And we're just gonna try. We're just going to try our absolute hardest to get this thing off. What else can we do? Eh, I don't know how much time has passed. But in trying to get this bolt undone, I snapped the end off one of these extension things and stripped the bolt and 175 PSI impact driver would not get this bolt on, undone. We've torched it for about a minute or so. Put some PB blaster on there, I think about four or five times. At least three or four times. And uh, now we've stripped it. <laughs> I'm not mad, I'm just saying. I, I honestly, this is the most difficult bolt I've ever had the privilege working with. It will hopefully be the only one I have privilege working with, but I'm learning how to deal with this. I'm learning, learning. Okay, here's the update. Um, as you guys know, I stripped the screw, stripped the nut, stripped the bolt, whatever the heck you want to call it. And, what? Same one? Okay. Um, I'm about to go do some DoorDash because I don't have a lot of money. I just ran out of money. And I'm going to need to buy new, two new CV axles and I got bills to play, pay. So, we're taking a break from working on the car to go make some money before continuing on our journey. And you know what? We'll take that one. Okay. Time to go deliver some food. Okay, we're in Port Orchard. And here's the deal. Um, the reason why we're down here is because we had an order to come down here for like nine bucks, not including the customer's tip. And I was like, you know what? That covers gas, it's profitable, and it's just one order. I'll take it. I get down here, I have to call the people because they're in an apartment complex, so I don't know exactly what unit they're in. But I get it to them, and then guess what? DoorDash crashes and I don't get paid for it. <laughs> but anyway, we stopped at park because I need to go pee really bad. And uh, went a little bit of bird watching while waiting for DoorDash to fire back up. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, some robins, some song sparrows, some spotted towhees, and probably I believe that would be uh, a dog. We're having lo loads of fun. Um, it's all about efficiency with DoorDash, especially now that gas prices are about like five bucks a gallon. It's ridiculous. What the heck? dog that was a duck it did not look like a mallard come on 
come on, I'm working here. Give me some money. Give me money. I want money. <sighs> I want to go out there and walk around and look at birds or look for birds. Now that I'm a bit of a bird geek at the moment. Hi. Dog. What? What? Someone just said hi to me. Hi. It, 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 it distracts from the environment of awesomeness. <laughs> just a crow. Look at that crow. First thought it was a duck. A dog. I thought you were a duck. Maybe you're a mutant duck. Oh, oh no. Oh, I angered him. Oh no. Oh crap. Oh. Oh, another one. What the heck? They're on the attack. Well, update. It's been uh, 20 minutes, half hour. No more orders. Again. And when I did that, it just like, what I thought is it canceled the order, but I was like, that doesn't make any sense. I've drove all this way, why, why is there no payment? Eventually realized it just had to hit the back arrow. That about sums it up. Started sprinkling a little bit ago and then stopped. So, that's about that. <gasps> I wonder if this thing's still good. It's a little nectarine of joy. Did you just bite into it? That is sweet. That is good. It sounded like thunder, but it was just a bass. Let's think about fruit. <clears throat> you got a seed. <laughs> I'm not afraid to expose myself. Give me the order. Oh Starting to lose it. This is joy. This is pure joy. Well, we've got a bathroom. What else do we need? Toilet? If you said yes to that question, you're dumb. Oh, yo, 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 Thomas Elvin in the jungle. Oh, never mind, we're in the desert. We're in the plains. We're still not getting any door dashing. So we just turn the volume up on our notifications if we get one. And we're out here in this park. Bird searching. I've already found a bird that I don't exactly recognize, but also can't detail it enough to find out what it is. Song Sparrow. Vicious beast. What? Even if we got a DoorDash order, it's gonna take us like 20 minutes to get to the car now. We got an order. We must go to Albertson at high speed. Okay. It's interesting things happening around here. Here's the deal. There doesn't seem to be any more orders coming in as of right now, which is fine with us. Since it's five o'clock is when we're ending the door dashing anyway. So, no big deal there. But, 
it's starting to rain, which is kind of nice. Because here it's just warm rain. You get that cold rain like you get here in the northwest almost all the time. It's like, it's absurd. We got house sparrows going like crazy right now. They're going like the flash, but bird style. <laughs> <laughs> 